Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today is a very important one. We're talking about liquidity pool taxes and how to do your liquidity pool taxes with Coinly. It should be a pretty straightforward demonstration and then I will show you how to get the necessary tax report documentation. Okay, so let's jump into the first part which is the Coinly support article. So liquidity in, liquidity out, I will leave links to everything in the description. So Coinly currently supports liquidity transactions carried out on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain and Polygon blockchains. Liquidity trans transactions are imported and tagged as liquidity in slash out automatically. We currently support a number of liquidity uh, protocols such as Balancer, Uniswap, SusiSwap, and the list goes on. I'll let you read that on your own time. This list is ever increasing. Uh, if your transactions are not being recognized as liquidity automatically, then send us a free feature request. Now, first big topic here, which is very, very blurry, also depends very much on where you live and how liquidity pools and liquidity stuff, uh, you know, is seen in your country. So are liquidity uh, transactions taxable? There's a lot of deb debate around this. By default, we treat these as tax taxable since you are exchanging your tokens for an LP token, which itself can be traded or stacked to earn more coins. However, if you feel that such liquidity transactions should not be taxed, then you can turn off um, realized gains on liquidity transactions on your settings page. So we leave this up to you. It is automatically set um, to be a taxable action. But you know, if you'd like to um, change that, go into Coinly, go into settings, click portfolio, scroll down, and you'll see realized gains on liquidity transactions. So um, that's really entirely up to you. We'll, you know, we'll leave that to your discretion, um, but they are automatically set to be on for Coinly. Okay, some of my liquidity transactions are showing up as deposits slash withdrawals. Uh, this can happen if Coinly does not support the liquidity protocol yet, or if the coins that you are putting into the contract um, do not have any market price. For example, if you provide Ethereum and FM, FOMO as liquidity on Uniswap, then you might see a missing market price warning um, on the FOMO transaction if we don't have market prices for it. So this does ha happen. It's, it's perfectly normal. Um, just a background as to why this, this issue or this little message might pop up. You will also see the same warning on the liquidity token uh, Uni v V1 transaction, but this one can be ignored. You can edit the FOMO transaction and set a market price for it. Coinly should then be able to detect um, that it has to do with liquidity. Okay, stepping aside from the article, let's jump into some real world examples. Uh, this will make things hopefully a lot easier for you. So here I have a wallet set up and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So first, you're gonna click on, this is the Binance Smart Chain um, one that I have. So you're gonna first click on transactions and then you're gonna to go to label and sort by liquidity in. And you can see all liquidity in the transactions you are providing in the pool. To explain a little bit more about how this works, Coinly shows a separate transaction for these liquidity pool transactions. It has a transaction for each asset you are providing into the pool and has and it has divided the LP tokens you get back into half. So an example of this, um, let's, let's have a look at, I don't know, this one right here, it doesn't really matter. We're exchanging Bear and Binance, we're putting that into the liquidity pool and we're getting equal portion of Cake LP liquidity pool token back. So that's the way Coinly treats these transactions. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. As you can see, Bear coming in, Binance coming in, um, you're getting almost identical values of you know Cake LP. Um, so for liquidity, it's pretty straightforward. You don't actually have to do anything. Let's jump into um, liquidity out. So you're gonna go into label and click liquidity out. Okay, the common thing that we see here is that the LP token will have will show a zero cost basis, um, and the coins you receive will be showing a lot of profit, as you can see here. This happens because the LP tokens are being farmed. So to resolve this, let's click click on a liquidity out transaction. So we can look at this set, for example. So Honey and um, BNB, I believe that was the one we were just talking about as well, right? Yeah, so anyways, let's click on one of these. And from here on out, what we wanna do is click this little eye icon. So it's actually called the view prior cake LP transactions. It'll obviously depend on which LP it is, but for this one it's cake. So you click on this button, 
which will take us uh, to this screen. So this is a fantastic little screen here. It will show you every transaction involved in this specific LP token, um, the cake LP token for our example, and it will show you this specific LP token because every single LP token is unique. Um, this one, for example, was a BNB and honey. So here you will see, uh, you know, a little area here that says no market price found for cake LP for your deposit and your withdrawal. So you will see deposits and withdrawal transactions, which are transfers from the farm or staking pool. So whenever you are sending to a farm or staking pool, you need to tag it, tag it as sent to pool. So this is very easy on Coinly. Go to your withdrawal, click the three dots um, shown here and click sent to pool. And that was a withdrawal. This right here is a deposit. And this is the deposit. You are receiving it back from the same staking pool. Um, you can see that the icon and the address are identical. And let's double check that. And yes, they, yes, they are, as you can see here, right? This one and this one right here are identical. Even the icon is as, as shown. And that's how you know it's the same staking address. So this is a deposit. We're gonna do the same thing as before, except this time we're gonna tag it as received uh, from pool. So let's go three dots and click received from pool. And there you have it. And it might take a few seconds, but it should be just fine. Okay, after you gave it a little bit of time to update, you know, we've tagged our deposits and withdrawals, the cost basis of the tokens will be ca calculated correctly. So you won't see those massive profits and losses. You can see they're a little bit more reasonable. It's an Australian dollar, so this is about $16 in profit. This was about $90 you know, dollars in loss. And you know, now that we see a cost basis, these numbers make a little bit more sense. So go ahead and do that for all the liquidity pool you know, deposits and withdrawals you have, and that's it. And once you've done everything, you're gonna go into the tax report section, and here you will get a great summary of your capital gains, your losses, your income, all that good stuff, your costs and expenses. And then lastly, um, here is where you can get a tax report um, plan and download the necessary tax documentation you might need. And depending on what country you're from, here are just some of the packages that we offer, you know, some different tax reports that we have. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax online and desktop versions. We have for the UK, the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, um, for Australia, Canada and Germany, you can get the complete tax report. It's also a document that you can give to an accountant if you know if you have an accountant for this kind of stuff. You can also invite your accountant to Coinly, which we're working on more videos for that kind of stuff. And lastly, um, depending on which part of which part of the world you're in, um, some nations, some countries have uh, laws that allow you to include these um, tax reports as a tax deduction. So make sure to look that up for potentially even more savings. But that's the end of this video. If you need any assistance, I'm going to link a few different places you can go to. You can go to our help center where we have fantastic articles about all things cryptocurrency uh, tax related. We have my face on there. Um, if you know, if you want to see that, uh, then we have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community and members from the Coinly team. And then lastly, if you want to get even further assistance, you can send us a message directly. But if you found this video helpful, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.